Radial Design, take four. Hi school, we are going to start something new. First of all, thanks so much for those of you who finished your self-portraits. They look great. I'll send you some feedback and you can see your assessment and grade for those this week. Um, there's a few of you who are very close to being finished. I think just a few more um, little things will help those be complete. So please try and finish those up today as well based on the feedback that I'll send you. Um, or you can finish those by Wednesday. That's fine as well. Okay. Um, radial design. We see it all around us. It comes from this idea of the radius of a circle and where the design repeats that. Sometimes it's called radial symmetry. First, you really want to start even your practices with a square of paper. So let me show you how to take a rectangle, make it into a square. Very simple. Bring the corner up so that it lines up. I don't know if you can see this happening. So that that top edge is straight. Okay, and then all of this is the extra part. And I'm going to use my ruler here to just rip this. And then for the practice, I think it's okay to have extra folds, um, even for the real one. And so the design that I'm going to show you, the practice design, will follow eight lines. Yours can follow more or it can follow less. Um, I think eight is good. So you can see that I'm folding this on the two diagonal lines. And then this is going to give me that T and, and an X. And I'll show you that. And so I have eight lines coming from the center. And if I was doing this not as practice, I would draw these lines out super duper lightly with my pencil instead of having the folds. And I will show you that on Wednesday. But for practice today, again, you want to start with a square. And these radial lines will help you. And you want to work from the center. You can create a theme or an idea if you want. Um, but whatever you do on one diagonal line, you want to repeat that. Whatever you do on one either vertical or horizontal line, you want to repeat that. Okay, think about shapes and lines that make designs or how shapes and lines can make designs. I can start in the center maybe with, um, I could start with a circle. I'm actually going to start with some loops or leaf shapes. And again, because I've done it here and here, I want to do those here and here. And for practice, we don't have to be quite so precise. This loop or leaf is a little bit smaller. For your quality drawing, they would need to be much more precise. Um, I'm going to come here and I'm going to do something a little bit different on my diagonals. And then, again, I'm going to use repetition. There's just a little design that got started. I'm going to use repetition, shapes, and lines to continue to create my design. I can have um, things touching, things interacting, spaces between them, and then go back and fill in. And again, I'd like you to try three different practice ones today just to, um, just to try it, just to get some ideas happening. Here these lines almost touch, which is okay. I can come back and sort of make this a loop. If I have weird space happening where they're not all the same, the farther I go, um, it will become more, it will become harder to keep it radial. So right now you can see that these two points aren't stopping at the same place. Can you see that one's a little bit lower? And since I'm drawing with Sharpie, I can't erase it, but a little strategy is I can add to this one on the outside and add to this one on the inside to create that symmetry, that same, same. And maybe that helped a little bit. Um, again, repetition sometimes is a fantastic thing, working from the middle, keeping the space the same. And as I 
extend out, I'm also going to have some spaces that happen in between my lines. And so I can go ahead and think about those spaces as well. If you want to pick a theme to think about in your work, um, notice how this is sort of creating a square and that makes sense because my paper is also a square. Anyway, if you want to have a theme in your work, um, that is definitely something that you could think about. So if you love um, the ocean and you are just dreaming of the beach, um, you could use uh, a lot of waves in your work. You could use, um, again, circles for bubbles. You could use sea plant imagery. Or if you um, just want it to be about design, that's okay too. I'm using a lot of curves, which is going to make mine look a little bit more floral. Um, but you can also use more geometry, more straight lines. Um, okay, so now I just have to think what I did. I used my diagonal line. I bubbled from the bottom one down and around. From the bottom one down and around. Again, you um, rounded shapes will make it look a little bit more floral. Um, stronger geometric shapes. I can also have um, different sizes of things happening. So again, as I extend, it could be a little bit looser. Maybe I'm going to draw this big leaf shape that I sort of started with. Okay, I think you get it. Today, three practice drawings. Um, and those practice drawings should look really different. Try, um, try just using squares and straight lines. Try just using circles or curves. Um, try using some motifs that would be like leaf shapes or um, um, heart shapes or stars or things like that. You don't have to add color to it today. Again, just practice. And um, let me clarify a final deadline for your self-portrait. If you need to go back in and do a little bit more work to it, it will be Wednesday. Um, because I think some of you just need a little bit of feedback and a little bit of time to touch up a few things. For those of you who did your self-portraits, wow, they look really incredible. For those of you who didn't, it is a grade. It is 30 points, which is three um, art classes, as well as some of the practice work that some of you are missing. I'll try and send you an email. Okay, have fun. Can't wait to see your ideas.